Hello and uh, hope you are doing great. Uh, in this video, we are going to be looking at uh, asynchronous uh, downloading of an image from internet using Combine. So we're going to be creating a view uh, that is uh, basically going to be asynchronous image downloader uh, or async image view, which is going to download images from the internet uh, using Combine. And we're not going to be using any third party library. We're going to build it right into our app. And you're going to see how easy it is to build it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we need is uh, we need to import combine. Okay. And uh, then uh, we are going to create our uh, image downloader class first. So let's go ahead and create image downloader. This is going to be an observable object. This is going to publish a privately set property for image, which is going to be an UI image. And that UI image is what our view is going to uh, observe uh, for the changes. And whenever that image becomes available, it's going to be displayed on the screen. So we're going to say private set. type UI image. All right, uh, we're going to create URL. And a cancel label um, for basically uh, putting our uh, putting our cancelable object uh, that we're going to create from publisher. Uh, so we're going to be using data task publisher, it returns a cancelable and uh, we're going to basically uh, cache that cancelable into cancelable object. So uh, when user, uh, when either uh, this class deinitialized or user asks to stop downloading the image, we actually call that cancelable.cancel. Okay. Alright, uh, what we're doing is uh, we are creating an initializer. Uh, that initializer is going to take, uh, the only parameter it's going to take is going to be URL. Okay, and we're going to populate our private URL property, uh, this one, uh, with the URL that is passed in. Okay, next we're going to create our start function, which is going to be basically starting the download. Okay, and uh, we're going to use our cancelable object to cache URL session going to use default configuration and data task publisher for URL okay all right now we're going to map the results to UI image and what we're going to do is uh, this returns data and we're going to say first parameter dot data take that and uh, put it in to UI image so you create a UI image with that data now we're gonna replace the error with nil and we're gonna set receive to be called on dispatch dot main dispatch Q dot main and we're gonna use assign, so we're gonna assign the image, uh, basically this image right here, on to self. Okay, so we're gonna assign whatever results that we are getting from this mapping and all these processing to this image on main thread. Okay, so that's all the code you need basically to download. Now, in order for the stop function, uh, if user wants to call uh, stop on the download uh, they can simply call we can simply call cancelable.cancel .cancel. and we're gonna do the same thing for dnet as well to make sure that we don't leak memory okay now that's all the code that we need for image downloader uh, and next we're gonna create our asynchronous image view so async 
page view okay and uh, this is going to be inheriting from our view all right and this uh, this class is going to observe so basically uh, there is an observed object that we're going to create and we're going to observe downloader like that and we are also going to create a private uh, property for image which is going to return some view and we're going to return a group here so while the image is being downloaded we're going to display a progress bar so we're going to say if downloader.image is not equal to nil then take the image take the image and basically create an image from downloader.image and we're going to make it resizable okay if the image is nil uh, that means the image is not downloaded display a progress view like that okay and we're gonna set the frame for this to have max width to be um, infinity max height to be infinity and uh, alignment to be center okay now comes the initialization part so basically whenever this view is initialized it's gonna expect a URL Right, and we're gonna simply say downloader is equal to image downloader URL, and we're gonna supply the URL that we have received. Okay, for the body, it is going to be simple that we're gonna simply say image that we created on appear. So, on appear, we want to perform some certain actions. So we can simply call a trailing closure on it and we're gonna say downloader dot start downloading okay and on disappear we also want to make sure when the image uh, this view disappears uh, or image disappears we want to stop downloading okay So this is our asynchronous view now is ready to be uh, to be used. So we're gonna take a few images. So I've got three images uh, that are pointing to Tesla uh, cards, and uh, I'm gonna use these. So I'm gonna create a scroll view, okay? And uh, inside the scroll view, I'm gonna create a for each. This for each is gonna iterate over URLs and they're gonna identify by self now here uh, we're gonna get URL so we're gonna use that URL and we're gonna call async image view and supply a URL we're gonna construct the URL using string that we have passed okay now we're gonna set the aspect ratio to be fit in this case all right so this is it let's go ahead and run this to see this in action all right as you can see the progress bar is showing up um, so let me resume and uh, let me go ahead and start so you're gonna notice there's a progress bar and bam this image is getting downloaded uh, basically within the view uh, asynchronously okay all right so uh, yeah this is it for uh, this video uh, hopefully you like the video once again what we did is we created a image downloader class which is an observable class uh, and we are using combine basically for this downloading uh, of the image and this class has a published property for image and uh, we are basically using that image to call url session task and uh, here 
uh, whatever data that we are getting from that URL, we are mapping that data uh, into a UI image data and we are constructing a UI image and then we are setting that image on this published property or published um, uh, yeah, published property that we have created and whenever that property is set um, basically your async image view because it's uh, it's being observed so we have observed object here and uh, whenever that property is uh, that image is populated we actually display the uh, image using UI image overload if the image is not there we show a progress bar okay all right, so that's actually uh, most of the code. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in another video. Thank you.